Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I figured we'd go ahead and do a foundation review on the CYO Long Lasting Foundation and it's supposed to be life proof. Um, I have mine in the second to the lightest shade. I can't find the shade name on here, but I know I got the second to the lightest because I ordered it off of the Walgreens website. And I'm pretty sure you can only get this at Walgreens, but ours didn't have it in store, the brand yet. So that's why I had to order it offline. But I'm going to apply one side with the, what is this, the Real Techniques sponge. And the other one with an It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe brush. And then um, I'll show you what it looks like outside. And I'll come back and show you at the end of the night what it looked like. So I'm just going to start with a pump. Um, and I'll do this side with a brush. Okay, I already used all that up, so actually I'm just gonna, like, do a little dot on my finger and just put a little bit of dots on my face. Okay, this is what one side's looking like with the foundation on. You can see it even at my skin tone pretty well. It didn't cover, cover up this blemish completely, but um, it tamed down the redness a little bit. Sorry, I'm trying to see where my puppy is because wherever she is, I'm sure she's back there doing something she's not supposed to be, that's for sure. Okay, and then I'm just going to... I'm going to put a pump on my hand and pick it up with the sponge like I did with the brush at first. I'm gonna go ahead and put this over my um, eyelids just to cover up all my veins and stuff like that. So, with the one pump that I put on the back of my hand with the sponge, um, I feel like I got the same amount of coverage as I did on the other side. And I didn't have to go back in with a little small dot and add some. So, the sponge definitely um, like made the product go farther than the brush did but the only other difference is um obviously the side with the sponge is more glowy and the side with the brush isn't but all around this foundation is a little dewy on its own um which is good for me because i have dry skin but other than that i'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and then i'll show you guys what it looks like outside Okay guys, so this is what the foundation looks like in natural lighting. Um, so much sun going on right now because it's raining, but this is what it looks like. And I will check in with you guys at the end of the night to show you um, how it looked. So I forgot to tell you guys in my video today, but I put the foundation on at around 2 o'clock and it's now a little after 10 
and I'm about to take my makeup off. This is what the foundation looks like. Um, when I look in the mirror, I can I can see my blemishes more than whenever I first put it on, uh, but my blush and my bronzer is still on. I didn't get too um, oily and I didn't set my entire face with powder or anything, so that's a plus. Um, I really do like this foundation. I think it looks good, so I definitely recommend it. Plus, it's not that much money. It might be like 8 bucks at Walgreens. But yeah, guys, I'll see you in my next video.